What? No. no. Here, it's the bail bondsman. Bail? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Stevens? Yes? I regret to inform you, sir, that your grandson was arrested for a DUI. No, that can't be. It's true, sir. The district attorney's office asked us to call you so we can arrange for bail. That is, unless you want to leave him in jail. No, we can't. <laughs> Now, how do I know this is for real? Sir, I'm calling you from the bail bond company. I have the number for the district attorney's office if you'd like to verify. Yes, I would if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, what is it? 310-475-6968. Okay, so it's ringing. District attorney's office. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just trying to verify something. No problem, sir. Uh. See, he was telling the truth. <sighs> well, it looks like you were being honest. I told you, sir. Uh, now, if you would like to get your grandson out of jail, you will need to send $9,800 to us through Bitcoin right away. Did, did what? I, I, I don't know what that is. Can you send an electronic wire transfer through your computer, sir? What? Do you know what that is? No. We, we don't know what that is either. Why can't I just pay in cash? Let me talk to my supervisor, sir. Yes, he can come pick it up, but we will need it within the next one hour. What? Why so soon? It's the law, sir. Well, I... Well, all right. Uh, let me tell you where to meet me. Are you Mrs. Stevens? Yeah, yes, I am. Uh, are you... Uh... Supervisor of the bail bond company? Oh. Did you uh, bring the cash? Oh, yeah, yes, well, right here. Wait, isn't there supposed to be some uh, paperwork or something? I'm just the driver. The company will contact you with the rest of the paperwork you need once that's been paid. But I, I thought you just said you were the supervisor. Yes, the uh, driver's supervisor. Uh, now, if you can just hand me the cash, I have to go. Um, are you sure my grandson is in jail? Yes. Why else would they send me? Well, shouldn't there be a uniform or a, a business card or, or something? Only senior supervisors get those. Well, uh, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, well, wait, just a minute. Uh, do you even know how old my grandson is? I'm not sure why. He's only nine months old. Okay, so? So, why would a baby possibly be in jail? If he's a baby, then why did your wife even hand you the phone? Let's just say when she's off her medication, she has a few screws loose. But what's really interesting is that you knew about that, uh, considering you're a driver. I'm sorry, I have to go. Uh, well, uh, wait. Uh, what's up? You might want to look inside that envelope. Um, open it. Uh, police badge. Mm. Here's where I can see him. You're under arrest. Mm. I'll take that. Mm. If you ever decide to scam someone again, Make sure it's not a cop. Take him away. Let's go. Well, did you bail Mikey out? Yes, sweetheart. He's right here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, say hello to Grandma. Oh, we were 
we're so worried about you. Oh, such a dear. <laughs> now, did you take your pills this morning, honey? No, I don't think I did. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Can I help you, sweetheart? My check engine light is on. Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand. Even Look, I've always believed in helping people. It's very serious. I actually know a lot about cars. Trust the experts, sweetheart. Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. 